Wow, what a morning. Uh, I hope uh, that ends with a bang we just heard in the background. I'd like to thank all the presenters, attendees, for making today an exciting day. Uh, I hope you were able to find a new automation supplier or, or a new buyer uh, today. Uh, and you ended this morning with a great idea for a new, new solution for, for uh, next year. In this case, don't hesitate to contact IRAP advisors in your region. We're national. Uh, around here, it's Rob Wentz, Ron Evans, and, uh, and I are covering Windsor Essex region and always happy to discuss how IRAP can help. Uh, and we're always looking for new companies, new solutions uh, to present next year. Hopefully, it will be in person at Caesars Windsor. And uh, please do not hesitate to send the heart of the conference uh, by providing both financial and human resources over the last six years. Uh, and I'd like to invite a huge virtual applause for, you know, Invest Windsor Essex. And th th thank you, and certainly looking forward to seeing everyone in person next year. And I'll uh, let, let uh, Wendy address uh, now. Thanks, Vlad. Um, I agree. It was, it was quite a day. Uh, I would like to add my thanks uh, to all of our conference partners, uh, NRC IRAP, of course, Canadian Association of Mole Makers. So we have John as a party on the screen there, who is president, uh, Automate Canada, Ontario Centre of In Innovation, Andreas Waller is on the screen as well. So thank you to you both, um, Janine Lasleen Berglund and, and Shelley Fellows, uh, also definitely instrumental in this whole conference, uh, developing the content. It could not have happened without without the, a really truly great planning committee. Um, so, it, and just to say, if you are an automation company in Canada and you're not already an, a member of Automate Canada, you should definitely check them out. They are the voice of your industry. So again, I would like to recognize the gold sponsors, University of Windsor and St. Clair College, silver sponsors, Ultramex and Laval International. And of course, as Vlad said, all of our great speaker, speakers. So a reminder, all of the sessions have been recorded and will be available on the Emerging Technologies and Automation website uh, very soon, hopefully uh, in the next few days or a week. Um, so if you missed anything and you'd like to go back, uh, please feel free uh, to do that. Uh, or if you couldn't choose between breakout sessions, certainly uh, go back and watch anything that you missed. Um, again, uh, questions that were uh, maybe asked or were wanted to be asked and couldn't be addressed, feel free to send them to me or any of the partners and we will connect with the speakers. I'd also particularly like to thank the people who are attending from around the world. We do have people from uh, many people from overseas and the U.S. and Mexico. Uh, you didn't have to travel to attend, but you are some of you in a different time zone. So we certainly appreciate you being here today. I uh, just want to also quickly, shamelessly plug a few things that we're working on just very quickly. One of our other projects for the business retention and expansion team at Invest Windsor Essex um, that we're working on is a key sector database which will contain info about uh, Windsor Essex companies in several sectors that are significant to our economy. So if you are a Windsor Essex company in manufacturing, automation, logistics, um, agribusiness, or other key sectors, please keep an eye out for an email about the new tool uh, to promote your business. Um, I also want to mention that if you have not already registered, it's not too late to attend the Canadian Association of Mole Makers AGM and 40th anniversary celebration, which is uh, just getting underway right now, actually. I believe the link is in the, the registration link is in the chat. So thanks, John, for that. Um, and uh, those of you who, who have attended uh, this event in the past when it's been in person know that we have been teaming up with CAM and Automate Canada to present these two events next to each other uh, in recent years. And finally, we plan to return to an in-person event uh, next year for Emerging Technologies and Automation Conference and Trade Show uh, in the fall of 2022. So we certainly hope that we can do that. And please keep an eye on the conference website for more information about that event. So thank you all again. and. Um, for attending and we hope to see you all next year.